In today's video, we're pulling expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards and attempting to beat what we pulled yesterday. What's up guys, we're back with another expensive Yu-Gi-Oh card opening. We have the core set version of the battle we started yesterday. If you've not seen yesterday's episode, go check it out. We opened a bunch of cool sets like Rarity Collection, Maze of Millennia, you know, whatever that new set, I always wanna say Maze of Memories, it's not. And we pulled a pretty good amount of cards and we're gonna try to beat that in today's video and crown the core sets the more expensive card winners. But before we get to it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Elements of Stratus, we have Valkyrion from the game, and Inferno Fire Blast from DR3. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we win with the core sets or will yesterday's pulls prevail? All right, I'm gonna quickly open these. We'll get the packs out. We got 72 packs, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn. Let's get to it. All right, I've gotten the packs out. Let's get straight to it. We have Battles of Chaos, first edition here today. We are attempting to pull some really good cards like Dark Magician like Starlight Rare, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. When we get to Age of Overlords, some big cards, SP Little Knight QCR would be absolutely ridiculous. We have had good luck with Age of Overlord recently. If we can continue it, it would be insane. There are some good cards in it. We opened Photon Hibernova too. Thrust has been reprinted, but it is still really expensive. So Triple Tactics Thrust is in there. There's some other really good stuff. Obviously the Starlight Rares are big. We have Cursed Bride. Central Spoils, Ken the Warrior Dragon, and Snake Eye Oak. So yesterday was like a side set, so you got a lot more foils. You know, a lot of, two of the sets were guaranteed foils. In this video, you know, we don't get, we only get the one guaranteed foil per box, so might be a little different. It might be a little bit more like hit or miss. We either get something big or we don't get anything at all. So I'm interested to see how they will stack up against a side set. Do we need to pull an SP Little Knight? Secret or QCR to win. Who knows? We have Ture. We have, the wanted stuff's pretty big as well. So if we get those Starry Dragon Circle Cycle, not Circle. 72 pack opening back to back days. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Lo somewhat longer, not super long, but we're gonna be like 20 ish minutes, something like that. Those are and special. Brandon Befallen. Land flipping. We have Intimidating Gore and the Abyss Dragon. Yesterday started immediately with like <laughs> we immediately hit something big. So it's gonna be hard to match that, but we're gonna do our best. Oh, we're okay. Come on, cards. Stay together. We, got, um, we also, last time we opened expensive cards before this series, you might want to go check that one out. We pulled some really good cards, including a really good one out of Battles of Chaos. Go check it out. Absolutely incredible pulls last time. So it's going to be hard to match those. Yesterday was pretty strong. I mean, you see on the screen what we've pulled uh, yesterday. I mean, they're three different sets, but they added up to be pretty solid. I, I haven't actually seen the number myself because I'm recording these, you know, before they're edited, but I'm guessing it was, you know, a pretty solid amount. Based on what we got, I think it was pretty good. I'm going back to back Photon Hypernova. Back to back. We're going back to back. Let's see. We have the Sari, Circle of the Fairies, Tier Limits, Chaos Phantasm, Light of the Branded, Scareclaw, Yagamaru. We have Unleashed and Tier Limits, Cash Tira. All right. So Tier Limits have been hit quite a bit since they first came out. So I'm guessing that's not as expensive as it once was. Originally, it was like a $15 Ultra, which is ridiculous. So anywhere close to that, I'm guessing a dollar or two, but even then it's not bad. It'll add to the total. That's a super Rux and special, DD Griffin. Age of Overlord. I, Age of Overlord's kind of like the one where like you need to really step up. Red Arrows, Realm Eulogy, Return of the Testina. Goddess, Rux and Special. Rux and spa I gotta chill out with the Rux and Specials. I've been Rux and Specialing everything. It's been rough. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go si side swiper. Okay, Gold Pride. I'm gonna switch it up. It's a little bit easier not to Rux and Special that way. Let's see, we have a Nordic Beast, Arkansas Razorback. Okay, nothing crazy there. Age of Overlord. I would like to see a little QCR Glimmer, please. QCR Glimmer of an SP Little Knight. That would be really nice. Or an original Sinful Spoil Snake Eye. I think that's a decent card as well. It's a couple bucks. Gonna need a lot more than a couple bucks though to beat yesterday. Yesterday was not just a okay a couple of dollar opening like there was some good stuff pulled galactic Krebo, i like that card come on battles of legend i mean battles of chaos i opened battles of legend earlier battles of chaos not legend different that was yesterday age of overlord completely different age of overlord though i mean you could really do some damage here okay we see an exceeds infernal flame banshee is not really a good one i think it's about a dollar it might even be like 98 cents for all i know it's not it's not fantastic not fantastic at all let's see about photon hypernova plunder patrol ship okay it's a card come on battles of chaos do your thing if clear new world we have libromancer agent okay 
We've really pulled not much so far. It's been a slow start. With the thing with these core sets, though, it's really just like you hit one big card and that can do everything for you. Seed spitting saplings. So it's not going to be like yesterday where we were slowly like going up, which, you know, we did pull an amazing card right off the bat. But after that, it was like a couple of dollars, a couple of dollars. That doesn't happen as much here. Big welcome labyrinth. Okay. That used to be a huge, it was like 25 bucks. I don't think it's that much anymore, but it should be decent. That's a card you want to pull. Big Welcome Labyrinth. Okay, Photon Hypernova. I think that's going to get a reprint or it did get a reprint. I can't remember. Nordic Beast, Arkansas Razorbacks. Either way, that's a solid, solid pull for this opening. We have Master Tau. We have Embrace of the Sestina. More super rares. So nothing too crazy. Photon, can you give us something good? Queen Butterfly, super rare. Battles of Chaos. Will we pull something epic? Ooh, Tamias the United Dragon. Not a big money card. It's an ultra that's worth a couple bucks. So we actually are piecing together some nice cards. And we haven't exactly hit a huge one yet. So it's kind of working out okay but if we can just grab a huge one we'll be in great shape we have i see link i see link you know what that could mean ah i see the pendulum that's not what i was hoping that what it would mean i was hoping it would mean something else all right maybe next time we'll get a, we'll get a link that i got a, i got excited i was like there's there's no super rare. yeah there was apparently okay we have scare claw <sighs> nothing just a super man that got that got me excited that i thought we got an sp little knight those are not easy to pull we have a dynamorphia reversion got to keep looking make sure we don't skip a dark magician in there age of overlord you teased us last time come on okay and exceeds exceeds armor fortress yep literally just says exceeds photon hypernova what about you what do you want to get us what do you want to bless us with gravekeeper's inscription okay it's not a bad card we'll take it okay battles of chaos Come on, come on. Rock scales. Dark contract. The dark contract with patient license. Patent license, not patient license. Okay, we have age, we have age, we have Testina, the divinity that defies darkness. That also has a QCR, it is the worst one in the set, so I'm sure we'll pull it now. Sure we will, okay. Come on, Photon, come on, Photon. Green Ninja, it's a ninja that is green. This opening is not looking great so far. Not looking great. I think we're way behind. Magic Karibo. That, that can help. Magic Karibo. One of my favorite cards in the set. Beautiful. We have Age of Overlord. Come on. Come on. TG all clear. All right. Yeah, sure. Whatever. TG all clear. All clear. No, no good cards in this pack. We're all clear. Yeah, just letting you know. Nothing good to pull. We have a or Orfable. Oh, I remember this guy, the chaos guy. Yeah, okay. He's cool, but he's not good. He's not good in terms of value, but he's very cool. So we are really hurting right now. We're really wanting to pull something better than this. Whatever, you know, the stuff we've pulled. <laughs> we want to really turn that up. Can we get a 1A? Can we get an SP Lil Knight? Can we get something like that? You know, EQCR at all would be great. Okay, switch point. Switching those train tracks. <sighs> Day one is looking pretty right now. It is balling out. Okay, Quardon the clear sighted. He is clear sight of our failure to pull something good. Battles of Chaos, come on. Kaiza. Dynamorphia Reversion. Come on, Age. Age of Overlord. Pendulum. <sighs> TG Rocket Salamander. Not the one we're looking for. I don't think it's horrible, but compared to what we could have pulled, it's pretty horrible. <laughs> Okay, we are really getting desperate here. We are pulling cards we are not looking for. Sneaky C. Okay, not Max C. Max C, if it was just randomly in there, would have been a pretty cool error pack. <laughs> just randomly in there. We have a Ice Jade C note. C note. All right. Oh my goodness. Let's go back to back Battles of Chaos. I think I have a sneeze coming, which maybe means we're going to pull something good. Who knows? Okay, we got an Ultra, so maybe that is a good sign. Not what I was hoping for, but it was still an Ultra, so it's something. Come on, Photon. Come on, Photon. Dogmatica Matrix. Sure, sure. Why not? Why not just pull us an SP Little Knight QCR? I don't even know what it goes for. Hundreds, I think, at this point. Happy Guide Guidance of Horrors. All right, Happy. We need you to bless us with something good because right now we have not really pulled it. We have Libromancer. Intervention. I have an intervention. You need to stop opening packs. You're not pulling anything good. I just threw the pack. That means there's a QCR in here. Right here. QCR Little Knight. Or Fire Recovery. A recovery from fire. <sighs> I 
Today is not going my way. Galaxy Photon Dragon, Secret Rare. I think that's an okay card. It's not crazy, but it's an okay card. So it's kind of what this opening's been. It's been like, oh, it's not bad. You know, it's a decent card. Let's just say our value though is not adding up at the moment with as much as we needed to add up to. Age of Overlord, come on. Synchro Rumble. Synchro Rumble. We need something. We need something big. Chaos Witch, that's not it. That ain't it. Chaos Witch is not the one. Come on. The zombie vampire. All right. It's a couple bucks, I think. It has a reprint now, so it's probably not even a couple bucks. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. This is getting rough, guys. Age of Overlord. You're the one that can save us with your amazing cards. Okay. Noivellas. Nothing too crazy. Photon. Hyper. Nova. Okay, we got Humongous Hive Hegemon Zexstagger. That is quite the name you got there, sir. Quite the name you got. Okay, Kaiza, we have Ep Epigonin, Apogonin. Sure, why not? Age. Come on, Age. Come on, Age. Full Armored Knight King Lancer Ultra. Sure, Ultra Rare. Sure, why not? I'm losing faith, but guess what? You can't ever lose faith. You've got to believe. Believe in the heart of the cards. Abyss script. Vigishki. The last pack magic has been very alive and very well recently. And I'm hoping that we can continue that today. Dark the Dark Charmer. Also a good card. Age of Overlord. Come on. SP Little Knight QCR, please. Okay, that's not it. Not a QCR. No Starlight in this Photon either. Which, you know, those are a lot harder to pull in QCRs. So let's see. Okay, we got a uh, Bear Graham, Sheld Emperor of the Force Crown. Another Ultra, very long name. I feel like we pulled a lot of Ultras. We should have gotten 12, so that is kind of a lot. But still, feels like even more. We have Soul and Luna. That is a terrible card. Uh, that's one of the cards you do not want out of Battles of Chaos. It's never been expensive. Never, probably never will be. But I say that, you never, I can't say never will be. You never know with Yu-Gi-Oh. Burning Dragon, they could make a whole archetype around a random card and change that. All right, come on. Starlight, nope. That could be a starlight. It's like 30 bucks or something. It's very cheap. Battles of Chaos. Come on, baby. Give us Dark Magician. Give us Libromancer Doom Broker. Okay. Dark Magician? No. Oh, man. So four Age of Overlord left. I've done these in a weird order for sure. Let's see what we can get. Realm Energy. Super. Rose Papillon. Xyz Align. We have Pharaonic Advent. Also an interesting card. Back to Age because there's only one more Battle of Chaos left. We have a Arius the Labyrinth Butler. That's a good card. Okay, good secret rare. Not like SP Little Knight level, but definitely pretty solid. Okay, that's a good card. We'll take that. Uh, there is, I don't know what the score is right now. It's going to be interesting to see what it ends up at. We have Choju of the Trillion Hands. I'd love to see that guy. All right, Age, we're down to four packs left. We need to QC our Little Knight to really be sure we win this thing. Star Dragon Cycle. I okay, didn't get it there. Let's go with... Photon Hibernate. If you guys have enjoyed this type of video, let me know if you want to see, you know, some back to back days like kind of working together, together against each other, etc. Chaos Mirage Dragon. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. We will be putting out more openings, etc. in the future. So make sure to subscribe. I appreciate you guys doing that. Here we go. We have. Ooh, Dynamorphia Teresia. Did we get three old three secrets? Why do I feel like we got three secrets? Maybe we didn't, but we got some uh, foil bleed on there because of the Euro print. That is a nice looking card. Don't know how much it's going to help. Only a few dollars worth. It might come down to this last pack magic. Here we go. First edition Age of Overlord. <sighs> last pack. We'll do the pack trick for this one. We didn't do it today just because my arms hurt today. Jin, I know I'm a wimp. We have card scanner. We have Angelica. UFO light. We have play of the Sistina. Transcendosaurus Extra Raptor. We have Soul of the Supreme Celestial King. Starry Knight. And can we get a QCR? No. Oh, a Snake Eye Bird. So, okay. Here's the final score from the two days. Here's the best set of all six that we opened up. And here is the stinkiest set. Shout out to Home Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Unatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.